All over the world, numerous amounts of crimes happen in seconds. Some willingly partake in and some unknowingly. But we will never stop spreading the word until the criminals are captured. When police got the call to a busy U.S. bank branch in Columbia Heights last year, a call for a fraudulent check and a suspect posing a threat. How's it going? This is how they found 23-year-old Mississippi native Joe Morrow, sitting in a chair in the bank manager's office, leaning back with his hands folded. Police blurt out branch manager John Asquith, as state law requires, because he did not want us to see or hear him in the video. Morrow wanted everyone to know what happened. I just got through working like 12 hours, I think. His job at UNFI, a grocery supplier better known as Super Value in Hopkins. Closer to home, Morrow stopped here at U.S. Bank in Columbia Heights to cash his paycheck for $900. Despite having an account, that simple transaction was anything but. They was all looking at me and just staring at me. And then looking at the check and then staring at me again, I'm like now I'm already knowing like what they thinking, the, the check fake. The manager, she, he came over and said, Joe Morrow, your check fake. And I said, what? He said, you people are always coming in here with fake checks. Who do you think he meant? Black people. I worked there, bro. And, and I'm, I'm a report to bro. Morrow continued pleading his case with Police Sergeant Justin Pletcher in the room. Morrow's claim of racial profiling immediately met with this warning. Joe, I need you to calm down, first of all, okay? Don't say anything stupid because you're just going to get arrested for it. All right. Still sitting in the chair as the sergeant held his ID and his check, Morrow insisted it was the bank who owed him an explanation. They called me to walk in front of everybody talking about this a fake check. That ain't a fake check. I worked there. We could confirm that. Two minutes later. What's the name? Joe. Sure. A second officer arrives, and the bank manager asks police to take Morrow to an adjacent office. The manager told the officer, I right, can you get him out of my office? He might touch anything on my desk. I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm like, that's, that's when I got super mad. Like, what? I'm going to touch something on your desk. Joe. That anger only visible for a second. Joe, let's go over there, man. When he complies with officer's orders and stands up. Okay, let's handcuff him. A split yeah, second, yeah. Morrow says he'll never forget. And like, definitely when I got handcuffed and stuff, everybody looking like, when I'm getting out, coming out of his office, I was handcuffed, so people are looking. How did that make you feel? Like crazy, like like I'm a criminal or something, like like I, I'm doing like something bad. Like I'm, I actually came here with a fake check. In his report, the sergeant later wrote that Morrow flexed at John, the bank manager, in a threatening manner. I didn't threaten him. I, I got up, like you know, in 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 a like you know, like a, like a mad. Do you have anything on you that could hurt her? Hopefully, anyway. Still handcuffed, Morrow offered more evidence of his innocence. I got the checks to Neil said what day it started and all that, and how many hours I worked, all that. I could have came to here and showed him that. According to the police report, the bank manager said he'd received a lot of fraudulent checks using the UNFI logo. Morrow says the manager claimed he already called the company and confirmed the check was fake. So who do we need to call? But this body camera video shows the bank manager did not actually make that critical call until after Morrow was already in handcuffs. So it's a real, the check number's real. Morrow's employer confirmed the check was in fact real. There's no question in my man if he'd been white. So you work the graveyard shift, you just get off work, and you go to cash your check, it's payday. You don't work all night, you excited, it's payday. Hell yeah, when I get off work in the morning, I'm going straight to the bank. Might even then got off work at 7 o'clock and the bank don't open to 9, so you got to sit out there. You feel me? But then you walk into the bank and you're racially profiled over a $900 check. You didn't even run it. You didn't even call. You just accused this man of having a fake check. And then the officer arrives and he had an attitude when he arrived. He told this boy, say anything stupid, you're getting arrested. He was already on the defense. He was already on the white man's side. Automatically, without even trying to figure out what was going on. All over $900. I think it's just crazy. I think it's crazy. Um, and then the, for the sergeant to put in the report that he flexed at him like he wanted to harm him. The whole time he was never on this boy's side. 
Even after calling and every, verifying that everything came back real and legit, the sergeant was still never on this boy's side. And I think that that's kind of sad. But guess what? It worked out in his favor because he got a settlement from U.S. Bank. They didn't reveal any details because, you know, when it's a settlement or whatever, like that stuff is supposed to be settled. You're not supposed to talk about it no more. You can actually get sued for talking about it. So, I mean, he went through hell to get to heaven, I guess. So it worked out for him. Some bullshit he didn't want to run into, he ran into. And now U.S. Bank settled with him. So anywho, I want to know what y'all think. Drop the comments below. Let's go. Next time on Crime Stories with Nina, hashtag CSWN. As we continue to pray for the healing of this nation and let God rule and reign, we won't stop fighting because most of all, we want justice.